Let's take a quick tour of a typical blog interface. What you're looking at here is a blog and the top has a banner that can be customized to almost any look and feel. Down the middle of our blog we have our newest post on top and as I scroll down you'll see that other posts are listed below it in chronological order. On the right I'll typically have my navigation. Pages are static pages that you create and the system dynamically creates this navigation menu. Below that you'll see archives. The system automatically segregates all of your posts into an archive system that segregates by month. Categories are very similar but you name the categories and segregate them by hand. This particular post is allocated to the business category and it will also appear, appear in here. If I go into the business category you'll see that that post is included there. As I scroll down again, you'll see Blog Roll. Blog Roll is merely a listing of links that you have placed on your home page to take your visitors to relevant sites or important sites that are relevant to your particular content or topic. And below that is the Admin button. I can log in from here to the back-end system that allows me to manage all of my blogs and postings. I've already included my information here, so I'll go ahead and log in and show you the back-end or back-office system that WordPress calls the dashboard. Across the top here I have the ability to go into the Write tab which allows me to write posts or pages. I can manage. This allows me to manage all of my posts and or pages. I can go in and look at a particular page and either view it, edit it, or delete it from here. I can manage comments that are made by other viewers. I can manage my blog role. This will show me all the links that I have on my home page and I can add more easily. Presentation really deals with the structure of your site. We recommend not fooling around with that unless you're an advanced user. The same with plugins. Users, on the other hand, allows you to manage your own user or add other users that might interact with your system. You can establish rights that allow people to become publishers as well or to go in and do specific things with your site. And finally, options can be an important area as it allows you to manage some of the basic options including some of your plugin options if you're hosting ads or allowing your users to subscribe. When I sign out, it takes me back to the login page and I have the ability then to go back to my public page. And that's our tour. Our tour.